In this video, we're going to look at how we can add an escape key to our hardware keyboard on the iPad. If you have an iPad Pro with a smart keyboard, you may have noticed that it doesn't have an escape key. Now, why would you want to have an escape key? Well, when you open up a video, when you open up a video in Safari and full screen, the only way that you can get that back into Safari is by tapping on the screen and then tapping on the X in the upper left hand corner. On a Mac, we can just hit the escape key. Or maybe you're in some part of a program. You want to get out of it. On the Mac, we just hit the escape key. We can't do that on the iPad. Well, I'm going to show you how you can do that on the iPad, how you can map one of the keys, such as the caps lock key, to be the escape key. Now, before we get started, I'm Dan Wassing from Dance Tutorials. I have over 1,500 videos on the Mac, the iPad, the iPhone, Apple TV, as well as the Apple Watch. They're all located on dancetutorials.com. If you like what you see, it'd be great if you could like this on YouTube and maybe even subscribe. It really does help. Let's get back over to how we can add an escape key to our hardware keyboard on the iPad. Let's go to my iPad. So I'm looking at my iPad here and let's go and open up a web page. So what I'm going to do is go over to Safari here. And then I have my site pulled up here and I want to open this up in full screen. In order to do that, what we do is we go over to the far right here of the video. We tap on these little squares here. It opens up in full screen. Now the only way that I can get this back into windowed mode or back into Safari is by going to the upper right hand corner and then when I tap on the screen you're going to see this X. So I need to tap on that and it brings me back. Again on a Mac I'd be able to just hit the escape key. Well if we look at my keyboard here I'm going to go to my keyboard here. You're going to see it does not have an escape key. So what I need to do is I need to map one of these keys. I prefer to use the caps lock key, I need to map one of these keys over to be an escape key. How do we do that? Well, we do this through the settings app. So I'm going to go back over to my iPad here. And now what we need to do is we need to go to our settings app. So I'm just going to swipe up and we go over to settings. Under settings, we need to go over to general. And under general, you're going to see keyboard. So now I just click on keyboard and up towards the top we have hardware keyboard because I have a hardware keyboard here. So now I just click on this and then down towards the bottom you're going to see modifier keys. This is what we're going to adjust is the modifier keys. So I click on this and here we have caps lock. The caps lock key is already mapped to be obviously the caps lock key. We don't want it to do that. We want it to be the escape key. So now what I do is I click on this and then you're going to see escape. I click on this and now when I press that escape key or I should say when I press that caps lock key it is now going to be the escape key. So now let's go back over to my site and this time we're going to show my iPad as well as the screen so I'm going to share both here so we can see my iPad there as well as the keyboard. So I'm going to open up Safari here and let's go back into full screen. I just go over to the right here and I click on this. It's in full screen. Now what I want to do is I want to bring it back into windowed mode. All I have to do is just go over to my caps lock key here and when I press on it watch what happens. The video goes back into Safari. It is now an escape key. So that's how we can map one of our keys to be an escape key on the iPad. We do this through the settings app. We just go to settings, general keyboard, and you're going to see hardware keyboard. From there, you're going to see modifier keys. Just select which modifier key you want to use. In my case, I use the caps lock key. I never use it for an actual caps lock key. So now what I can do is I can remap that over to be my escape key. So that's how we can map our keys or map an escape key to one of our modifier keys on the iPad. 